okay so in this video let's start from where we have left so far so first i need to do from selenium <laughs> this line imports the buy uh, you will see what is it exactly when i am doing on it so from the selenium right buy is used to define the method of locating elements within the page like uh, i want to locate this first right so where is it like how i know that i have to click here so for that i need to do the buy and see when we are it is being controlled by uh, controlled by the automatic uh, by the chrome driver so if i do anything here my my own user action it will actually make a huge mess with the chrome driver okay so let me open it here so that i can show you let me switch account and see it is chrome so let me open chrome first and open it in the chrome because uh, many people are more used to in, do this stuff in the chrome google chrome let me see i have yeah i have so i am opening the chrome here and this is a very virgin one so from selenium web driver oh, let me complete sorry from selenium web driver common by import by so this b has to be capitalized and that was in small case that's what i was looking there that far this is very yeah so what is my client id my client id is 525 now username input x path you will see what is it right now I'm clicking on it, clicking on the inspect. You can see here, this is the field, right? So how we can check? We need to copy the X path. Copy, copy X path, not the full, this one, okay? <clears throat> so uh, this line is defining a variable username input underscore X path and assigns an X path as a string. So X path is a syntax used to navigate through the elements and attributes uh, in an xml document okay so in this case we are using it to find uh, the element in the web page so the xpath mobile number is designed to find the element which has the id as mobile number so i am checking that this part the id is equal to mobile number so i am exactly using that to see that which one has this id okay so how I select it, username input. So this is the X path. Now let's select the element. So driver find element by dot X path. So this is my X path. let's say if it is something written there any placeholder let me just click clean that so this is habitual we don't have to do that because in abstracts they usually nothing is written there input element now you need to type your client id there correct client id so what will happen if i click on the play button here it will it should click on it clear everything it has let me say let me say i have this it should clear this also and it has to it should add my phone number too okay so let me just click on okay uh, username input i did a spelling mistake oh god mm -hmm. should work Happened. driver find element xpath wait this is the one we have opened and this is the one we have already okay it came here i am sorry <laughs> 
So this is the one which is being controlled in the automated software, not this one. This one I opened to check the X path, right? Like, uh, let me show you one more time. If you don't, you are, if you are not believing that sense, let me say we have this, and let me click on it. See, it is that fast. Let me see if I can make it like this. See how fast it is. That fast. Okay. So now we need to find the X path of the get OTP button and click on it. Okay. So get OTP button X path. If you're not interested, you're interested to see that what exactly I am doing here and how exactly I'm doing it, you can skip to the end of the video and get the code. Okay, because you don't need to know all the stuff anyways. So let me just copy the same thing. And I have to click here. So I need to click. Okay. Now let's find the X path. Right click on it, inspect. Right click on it and break on copy, copy X path. Let me just run it. The OTP has been sent to your phone. Okay, I got the OTP, but yeah, the sound also came. So the problem is that I have a, a very big password like this one. I need to convert it from this to this. Okay, and I have to put it here. So for that, I need to use a different module. Let me show it. So for that, this is my client path, import by OTP. So I need to get the OTP from this key, client pass. So this line imports the PyOTP library in my script. PyOTP is a Python library, which is used to generate one-time passwords, which are commonly used in the two-factor authentication, like you can see here. So this is the pass, which is used to generate the key and how it is generated it is generated by by otp dot t o t p line pass now see this now it, it is a method of this uh, t o t p object that generates the otp and it is actually valid for like 30 seconds or one minute okay so in this case how much time i have uh, 30 seconds only yeah it is valid for 30 seconds so it will uh, give us the same uh, otp which is currently going on right now for this 30 second interval client pass so in some unlucky cases what we, what can happen that in the last second you may have entered this and got this and it will not work because uh, it has again went to the next part like it will happen when you are doing in the manually because when you are doing in the code it will be so fast that it, it will happen in the blink of the eye. so if you are if it is not working just run it again because it means the 30 seconds has elapsed when you are coding slowly like this so now i need to get the x path of it i need to click on the element i need to write the password and then i have to select the continue button and i have to click so that is a long stuff. Let me just code it very fast. So <clears throat> password input same way input element actually let me just copy it in the username. I have to just write password. Now instead of the client ID, I have to send the client password. Let me just run it again because 30 seconds has already passed. Exception is here. It is not able to select password input X pass. Oh, sorry, I have not checked the X path at all. Let me check. What is the X path here? Inspect. 
right click copy copy xpath oh. let me check if it is working it's invisible somehow but i think it worked we'll find it anyways after some time actually we can check it like this yeah it can so now i need to get the continue button let me just write something yeah so that the continue button become active now i can click on it copy copy the xpath we have the xpath of the continue button now we have to just click it so let me just follow the same thing i am not changing the actually i am not a guy who can do that so let me just instead of get otp let me write continue now see i think 30 seconds is again elapsed so let me just click on it then click on it i need to again do it okay so let me close it and run it from the beginning okay run 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 see that's how the magic happens let me see when the browser comes yeah it came in different screen so it takes time to initialize okay so that's why you use different kind of other browsers as fast as that okay now we need to send the pin so for that we need to again click on it do the same process and after we write the pin we have to click on the continue for that i need to again do this part to get the x path because we do not know the x path of the otp button so actually let me save you some time because i already have done this procedure and know what is the x path of the otp button let me just write that part and also write that code also because it is the similar code my you know already my pin 9319 so let me just send my pin here and also let me just click on it i have sent my pin now i have to click on the continue button so before i do that i need to let me just copy the login url here okay you will see why i am doing that original url in the next part see you can get the current url like if you do the that so it is showing the url current now currently okay so let me store this url in the original url now i'll click on the continue button i already know the x path so i'm clicking it and it should open the unofficial website if everything is all right we already you can see the code is here okay so we need to extract this code so for that what i'm doing wait for the url to change from the original url so i need to che check that when my website is loaded how i can check that i can check that if the original url is changed so web driver wait driver 30 so we can maximum wait for 30 seconds so it is a complicated stuff you do not need to know the exact details but actually you can learn about it so let me just add you are i bought a new keyboard so i'm having a problem with the keys keyboard changes original url
EC is not defined. Let me define EC. We sorry from Selenium with driver support import expected conditions as as EC. Okay, so it is telling that okay your URL has been changed. Okay. Now see EC you will be thinking that what is it so it is like expected conditions so it is basically checking for the next 30 seconds if the main URL is changed if it is changed why not get the URL so the current URL is and now you can easily extract this code using any normal like okay let me just save it redirected URL So this is the string right so whenever the code comes it will come after this so let me just consider it as a string redirect url let me just split it so the code will come after this do not know what is happening you see the code is here as simple as that now you can use this code directly and you can wrap it up it as a function so that on the next time you do not have to wake at the 9 am all you have to do you have to run this function like you have to um, put in the linux you have to put in the cron job and uh, in windows system you can just make it run using the stack scheduler so that this function is automatically running each day at the morning and the correct way to do this is that uh, whenever you are fighting the order you have to check that if we are already logged in or not if we are not logged in you can use this method to automatically get you logged in again okay and uh, in that case you you don't have to intervene at all let's suppose in some case upstocks is uh, logged out you from everywhere in the middle of the day and you are not monitoring it and your algo is running so these are the fail safe mechanism you can use if you know the auto login feature correctly so i'll sum up this code and you will get this code entirely if you have signed up with us like for upstocks the main reason we are doing the entire thing is we are helping the guys who have signed us uh, signed with uh, signed up as a partner from here okay so if you have opened your abstracts account with us using this link then contact us i'll be adding you to forum.unoffice.com where you will find the exact code and many detailed explanation of everything like already i have started writing on it and you can see that i have written it very beautifully and uh, i'll make this uh, this is actually a private trade and you can access it if you are you have signed up the upstocks account with us okay so anyways let me know that how it is and i am too much excited to complete the next of the whole series and there will be so much codes and so many tutorials and exercises let's hope to see you in the future and please give me feedback that how it wrapped up so far